on commentary. So we can talk about that matchup a little bit. Jagerbomb, how are you feeling about that matchup? Uh, I definitely need to use auto reticle a lot more. Uh, mm -hmm. Since Greninja does a lot of short hop nares and junk like that. But uh, auto reticle would be really good. Just covering the air while I can just... Uh, well, it's it's easier on the ground because if I get a jab on Greninja, that's a free grab and that's free damage. I can either get like... Uh, the vision. I, yeah, if he DI's in, I get an high. air or an up What's air. What's up? Kiter says hi. Oh, hi Kiter. But uh, Kiter. if he if he DI's in, I can get an air into something else or an up air for a kill. I usually save the up air for later percents. But uh, if they DI out, that's a free forward air, and that can confirm into a couple other things, mm. like if they air dodge and stuff like that. Good so, to know. Yeah, Palutena is a lot of fun. Uh, recently picked her up, but we got Daybreak and who's the other guy? I don't. That is actually my friend uh, Nick, going by the tag of Ogre Lord. Okay, so he, 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 he plays, plays Mario. Mario. Yeah, he's a Mario main. Um, a little, not not really into the, like the competitive scene, but uh, you know he still enjoys coming out here to play Smash with everybody, mm -hmm. and uh, you know so we'll see how he does. And uh, right now Daybreak kind of all over him. Yeah, Daybreak hasn't even been touched yet. No. Great back air, knocking Mario off stage. Ooh, we got that damage. Yeah, though. there's the first two. That's not a. That's not a JV. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his not way. Not a JV no more. Right. Something to play for. Oh, finds a down smash. Okay. Yeah, that, I, th I think Daybreak's not going to be ready for a lot of the options he might choose. Um, very unconventional, uh, Mario. So we'll yeah. see. But Daybreak's usually a Falcon main, but I know he co-mains Fox. So he might be just uh. Kind of testing the waters with his fox before he decides to take the Falco out. Getting some practice in with his secondary. But great forward smash is going to knock Fox off stage. He's on the platform now. Uh, a random forward air coming out there. I think that was just a missed input. He's getting pressured a lot on this platform. He needs to uh, just stay on the ground, kind of hold his place. Yeah, Orgo Lord is getting super offensive right now, throwing out a lot of options. Uh, you're down a whole stock. You're almost overlap. So mm -hmm. um, he's starting to just play to the match, to the scenario, finding some F smashes. Yeah. And I just don't think Daybreak is prepared for them. Um, how can you be, really, when you're running in like that? But um, Daybreak seems to be picking up a little bit as we finally find a spot dodge. Ooh. Not going to take it out the top, though. Cool. Oh, good cape. Definitely <laughs> threw Daybreak off there. Good jab. I definitely think he needs to use the jab a lot more. Uh, he should be down smashing the ledge when Fox side beats towards it. And there's a down smash right there. Actually taking the first stock from Daybreak. Ooh, <laughs> Daybreak trying to read that roll with an up smash. Yeah, he's showing out a ton of defensive options such as spot dodges and rolls. So Daybreak just trying to find one to end this game. Ooh. It's just a matter of time before Daybreak trolls out that up smash. Mm -hmm. Trying to catch one of these uh, spot dodges. All right, instead so it's for the dash attack. Just trying to juggle him right now. Ooh. This is a decent combo to get some good damage right there. Yeah, uh, you definitely want to get at least like 10% on Fox, though, because if you down throw him as Mario when he's at a really low percent, or like 0%, he lands on the ground, and then he can just hold R to shield. Yeah. Anything you have. But uh, I don't think Daybreak knew that, so he just didn't hold shield, and then he got hit by the up smash. Because he landed on the ground, but he just got hit anyways. So I guess Daybreak was expecting uh, the up tilts to come out and just get comboed up. Definitely what you'd expect. And uh, being such a fast faller, you're right. You can just fall through and shield. So, but uh, switching to Mewtwo, yeah. I do Probably know that getting Mewtwo. all of his secondaries in. Right. <laughs> I do know that Mewtwo. Does Mewtwo win this matchup? Uh, I don't. I'm Mewtwo, not sure. Mewtwo is really good against Mar. Well, not really good. I think it's. Uh, I think maybe generally 55, it's 55 45. Yeah, Mewtwo favor. Mewtwo just kind of uh, beats lighter characters. The fair is really strong. All these combos come from uh, just one down tilt. Now I play my, I play uh, Overlord as Mewtwo a lot sometimes, so he, he's not, he's definitely seen Mewtwo before. Um, but Daybreak all over him, finding his nares and his down tilts to start these combos. Oh, okay, that was a really good actually nair into grab it's for some decent damage. Trying to find uh, a way yep, in. Man. Right there. The down tilt the forward air. I don't know if that's true on Mario. It looked like it, honestly. It but did, uh, it kind of looked like he DI'd out, and then Daybreak just followed him right out. Mm -hmm. So he maybe could have DI'd in to mix it up. But uh, either way, it ended up in a stock. So I, uh, I definitely think Ogre needs to get a grab here, get some damage on. Uh, off smash is actually really good against Mewtwo, against those short hop fares. You just kind of 
run up and turn around up smash. Especially on a plot of uh, stage like Town and City too, with that low ceiling and how light he is. He's only like 74 units, one of the lightest characters in the game. So uh, definitely gonna be looking for the up smash. And there it is, right there. But he tried to read the landing. Yeah, but it's nowhere near him right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh wow. Ooh, just following up over the air with following up with a nair, getting some solid damage. Oh, okay. These hop, these soft hit nairs are good because it puts Mewtwo in a tech situation, and Mario is really good at following up on those. Yeah, as we see him get he a can even grass. jab reset if he missed the tech. Yeah, we see a lot of nair chases from Mario, but working from a 100% deficit. Ooh. Ooh, was that just too close? Ah. I guess so. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Great uh, cape, though. He would have gotten hit by that if he didn't cape. And Aww. the forward area straight into the SD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went for it all, I guess you could say. So I might have a match. I don't know. 